and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA football 2003. We're in season nine, games five and six today as we take on the LSU Tigers and the Vanderbilt Commodores. If you haven't already, please slap the like button and subscribe if you're new. And, you know, join the Discord community, all that fun, happy stuff. Link in the description below. But let's get into the action. LSU, 1-3 and three on the season. Man, they are just crumbling as a program. Not looking too good on uh, these last couple seasons. Uh, after we came back in Death Valley and beat them in a rainy game. Uh, it was a crazy comeback win against them. Uh, let's see. All right, there's the matchup. We are top 25 in basically everything. Rushing yards, we are 26th. LSU struggling mightily in uh, pretty much everything. 98th in turnover differential, 96 in points per game. They're only scoring 15 points per game. Let's take a look at their schedule right quick. There's ours. We beat Hawaii, Rice, UNLV, Middle Tennessee State. Oops, going the wrong way. What am I doing? All right, they lost to Eastern Michigan. <laughs> what? 25 to 13. <coughs> Beat New Mexico State 34 to 13. Lost to USC by uh, six touchdowns. Lost at Georgia by 17. I mean, they're just getting just pummeled this season. Okay then. SEC is uh, kind of falling off. Do want to give you guys a heads up. Season number 10 uh, will be where we're going to end this series. <coughs> Obviously not going to rule out coming back to it in the future, but uh, for the foreseeable future, season 10 will be the final one for the Bulldogs. And it has been one heck of a ride. All right, let's get it. Miami playbook. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to run the ball down the throat all game. Let's go. Hey, Tyler. Sorry about the Lions, buddy. Heck of a season they had. Hope to see them back in the playoffs next season as well. I'm sure they'll get there. But they do have a formidable foe in Green Bay. And, you know, Minnesota with Kirk Cousins back. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a really tough division. Who knows, maybe the Bears will get it together. Probably not. I'm just saying. And the rain looks like it's gonna make things a little bit slippery out there for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the LSU Tigers. And here Hey look, Nick Saban right there. Leave the Tigers out. along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. This college football season continues on, and we have what looks to be a spectacular battle headed your way. The Bulldogs are pretty confident coming into this one, Kirk. It really doesn't appear to be much of a contest. Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blowout. Mississippi State looks to be pretty unstoppable offensively, and that's primarily because of their quarterback. Not only is this guy gifted physically, he's got such a grasp of this game mentally. Lee, he's a coach's dream. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Mississippi State has a huge advantage here, especially in the passing game. Kirk, look for them to spread their defense out and attack them through the air. No contest. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. All right. They think that we're going to win it. We are heavy favorites here in this one. That's right, Tyler. There's always next year, buddy. Mississippi State has the ball. Oh, shut up, Brad. And Castro going to return this one. And dangerous return, man, here. Gets it up past the 30, I believe. To the 31. Alright, 
Did not switch to my guy. I'm pummeling this guy. Oh, what a catch by Warner. My goodness. Not a good start for my thumbs in the defense. Man. Get Kennedy out here. And Hole gets the catch. Eight yard pickup. Tigers having a great start to their drive. All the way to the 26 yard line already of MSU. Come on, dogs. Let's figure it out. Come on, baby. Quarterback's going to take off. And Kennedy with a nice stop. But Kaufman going to move the chains for the Tigers. Slow reaction, and the Tigers strike first. All right. That's not how we wanted to start the ball game. I got beat badly on that play. Extra point up. Extra point good. 7-0. See if the offense can respond here in Death Valley. Oh, what a hit. And there's holding. Oh, all this clipping. Even better. Even better. Okay. Sanford to the 19 yard line. Oh, come on. The right tackle just stops blocking completely. All right, we got third down and two. Let's go fullback blast. Sandoval lowers the shoulder, moves the chains for the dogs. Oh, nice catch from Malone. And to get it up to the 30-yard line. Had to come back for it just a little bit. Juke Sanford in the open field up to the 43 yard line, already 21 yards on three attempts. Good fullback gets another carry, he'll pick up four. See the sophomore to the 41-yard line. Quick slant. Easy pickup. Let's go play action. Try to hit this wheel route on the right to Malone. Got him. Nice catch from Malone to the 15-yard line. Bulldogs inside the red zone for the first time. I 
Nice catch. That was nearly picked off. Pass caught by the tight end, Anderson, just two yards. And, oh my goodness. Nobody got open on that play. That was really slow developing. They're down at 14 from the, just inside the 18 yard line. Wide open over the middle, that's Malone, first down. Clutch throw from Cletus Pace. Beautiful drive, 11 plays, 86 yards, over three minutes off the clock for MSU. Massey open, back corner, touchdown Bulldogs. Really nice answer from this offense. One point away from tying it up here in the first. Surprised Pace had enough arm strength to get that out there to the uh, wide receiver, the sophomore. So plays 89 yards for the Bulldogs. See how the Tigers respond after the long touchdown drive. Cash draw past the 25 yard line for the 26. Oh my goodness, these diving catches are killing us right now. It's a second big time play. Draw play. And Kennedy whiffs. My goodness, that was rough. Another draw play. This time he's going to go right side. Castro picks up five. Down in inches. Let's go 3 4 on this play. See what the front seven can do here. They're going to throw it. Man, that is incomplete. Campbell makes a nice play. They're going to go for it. Let's go same play. Fullback, he's going to get the first down. That's Pruitt. That's a big boy. Oh my goodness. I did my job. I forced him back inside and he somehow scores. Oh man, what a run. That was insane. LSU giving us a run for our money today. That 
Extra point up and good. 14 to 7. Tigers with the lead. Three drives in the game, three touchdowns. And Mullins up to the 27. Cletus Pace and the boys take the field again. Zone coverage. Somehow we got the pitch away. Sanford's only going to get a yard, though. Dangerous play. And a four yard pickup up the gut for Sanford. We'll bring up third down to five. Uh-oh. Cletus Pace got hit, and Malone catches it. And he's inside the 30-yard line, and that's how we're going to end the first quarter. Both quarterbacks on fire right now. LSU on top, 14-7. to seven. Wide open. That's the halfback. And he is in. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a play from the sophomore running back. Can't remember the last time we had a touchdown reception for the halfback. It's very rare. <laughs> but they blitzed. He was wide open. Nice little catch and run. Just took off. You're not going to catch him in the open field. Cletus Pace is 8 of 8 with two touchdowns so far. So did he. And Sandoval recovers it. That's one of the linebackers, I believe. Huge break. Now we get a shot at getting the lead. At the 19-yard line to start this drive. First turnover of the day. And Pace is going to be sacked. Can't get away from the linebacker. Loss of two on the play. Oh my goodness, what a hit. We're down at nine now. Massey, oh, he got bumped off the route. And we'll have to settle for a field goal try. First incomplete pass for Cletus Pace today. Field goal is up for Rick Hayes, and it is good. We break that record every game because the settings... PS2 is so old, it just doesn't save the settings properly anymore. Dogs on top, 17-14, though, here in the second. Catch 
Castillo, another good return. Up to the 28-yard line. Oh, no, Gray. Oh, no. The freshman strong safety getting beat. Left out on an island over there. All right, we're going to switch 3-4 rest of this game, I think. Kaufman, 5-6. 150 yards and a touchdown. Now, granted, the touchdown was my fault, but that's all right. What am I supposed to do here? My goodness. LSU looking pretty strong so far in the first half. Not a whole lot we could have done there. Tigers over 200 yards of offense already. Extra point up and good. Two plays, 71 yards, 25 seconds. It's 21-17 here in Death Valley. Tigers with the lead. Freshman running back McCoy on for the return. And he'll get up to the 24. And four yard pickup for Sanford. Could spin there at the end. Killing us. Oh no, he got hit. And Dale comes down with it inside the 40 yard line. What a catch! My goodness. Somehow, Pace gets it far enough downfield for Dale to come down with it. He got hit right as he threw it. Of course, we're probably going to get a bad angle there. Man, what a catch over the safety. Dale over 100 yards on six catches this season. Up top, Malone near the sideline, has it and drops it. Usually sure-handed post Malone. Can't come away with that one. Man, nowhere to go. They're down at 10 for the dogs. And nowhere to go. Left guard, stop blocking. We're going to go for it. From the 38 yard line. Massey has the corner beat, but not the safety. Not a good play. Tigers take over on downs. And we're going back to the 4-3 since we did 1-3-4 play and they scored a touchdown off an option. High snap. That's going to mess the play up, but it doesn't matter. Kaufman still picks up 8. Not 
not sure what happened there. Broken play. Broken animation. I think that was an option play, so that's just going to count as a tackle for a loss. Third down and four, and <laughs> our offside penalty negates the broken animation play that the Tigers just had. I guess that's a makeup call, you know? Close game, 21 17. LSU winning right now. Kaufman under center. This running back has been pretty good for them on no, just four carries. We will be taking on Vanderbilt after this one, so stick around for that game as well, folks. Oh, Barry, what are you doing? What are you doing, Gray? Oh, my goodness. Inside the five-yard line. Another big-time pass. As LSU just continues to torch this defense. 193 yards on just six completed passes. Outrageous. And Pruitt dives but does not reach the end zone. That's an easy walk-in touchdown for Castro. Tigers are going to extend their lead. About to be an 11-point ball game. We have less than two minutes to go in the first half. we got to get some more points on the board. We do get the ball to start the third quarter. Extra point up and good. 28 to 17 is the score. Bulldogs trailing an unusual sight the last couple seasons. And we're not even going to try to return that. All right, they have been shutting down the run last couple drives. Stacking the box. Look at that. I mean, we got to audit a lot of that. We're just going to lose yards. Up top, Massey. That should have been pass interference. And we got it. Massey inside the 30. Definitely got shoved there. Still makes a great play. He's wide open. Touchdown, Malone. Quick two-play, like, 80-yard drive. Touchdown, and we're going to close the gap. Man, Pace out here dropping dimes to the receivers. Corner got lost in the sauce over there just a little bit. We probably scored a little too quickly. Extra point up and extra point good. 28 24. That drive took less than 30 seconds. And we miss. Okay. A lot of missed tackles today. Try some zone coverage. See if that does anything. Probably not. Cannot let them score here, though. There we go. Overthrow. He's calling for pass interference on the freshman. Uh, strong safety, Gray. 
not getting the call. Kaufman, 6 of 8, 193 yards and a touchdown. Definitely a quarterback duel here in this one. And wide open is Jackson. Not going to move the chains, though. See if they go no huddle. They will not. Third down and about a yard and a half. They're going to call it two. And he's going to easily get the first down. Just cannot stop these guys right now. The only time we did stop them was forcing a fumble on a kick return. My goodness. Luckily, <laughs> bounces off his dome. Come on, boys, get him. No way. No way. Runs over two of our best players. They're down to five coming up. Got to get the stop here. And we do. There's another overthrow. Three incompletions now in the game for Kaufman. Let's see if we can block a punt. Blocked one in this series. Not even close on that one. And Mullins can't spin. Gets it up to the 22. Now I don't want to force anything here. And going to the half after a turnover. Don't want that. Just going to take off. Up top, Sanford. And that's picked. See? That's exactly what we did not want to happen. But it happened anyway. Threw it up to the speedy sophomore running back. Couldn't make the play on the ball. That is unfortunate. Oh my goodness gracious. What are we doing? Please be holding. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's nice to be lucky. Final play of the half. Tigers on top 28 24 here in Death Valley as we head into the locker rooms. Bulldogs get the second half kickoff. Pretty close game. And they're going to kick it off out of bounds and hit their cheerleaders. Don't see that too often from the computer. Usually it's me. <laughs> Man, there's no room to run the ball at all right now. Started off pretty good. Three runs for 21 yards for Sanford ever since. Uh, he just has not been able to get into that second level of the defense. Man, got about, got about three right there. Up third down and six. Got to have something here. Gets a foot in bounds. First down, dogs. What a throw that was. Pace rolling to his left. Somehow completing it. 12 of 16. 274 yards. Three touchdowns and a pick today for Cletus. Up top to the tight end. And he's going to come away with it. 
dangerous throw, but we do pick up eight yards. All right, we got seven and a half. Okay, close enough. Saying of all the fullback inside the red zone, best run in his young career. Well, nobody's open. We somehow escaped that and got yards. That was crazy. Should have been sacked for a loss of like seven. I was looking for Malone on the post, but it just wasn't open. I didn't want to force that throw. Man, Sanford could not find any openings. No way that was picked. Oh, Malone. Come on, man. Second pick on the last two drives. That is so unfortunate. Let's get a safety. I don't I can't remember the last time we got a safety. It's not going to get one here. But pretty close, though. Man, on Sanford's last eight carries. He's only got 18 yards. Oh, come on, Kennedy. Man, we had him, too. Let's go, boys. Third down and nine from the three. Well, we got the stop, though. I can't remember if we even have a safety in this series. If we do, it's been a very long time. Oh, I got killed. Oof. No return for Mullins. Fair caught around the 47. Come on. They're all over these receivers. Malone's wide open. Got him inside the 30. Nice blocking on that left side. They just know when we're going to run it. Look at them stacking the box. Only getting three. That is crazy. They know every single time we're running. at the square, but Massey wanted it more. Massey over a thousand yards in his career now. Got that today, probably on that big reception he had earlier. And Pace hit in the back as he tries to get rid of it. Second down and ten. Wow, 
Wide open. Oh, and Malone drops the touchdown. Come on, baby. Two drops today. That is unacceptable. Nice blocking. Oh, it's an easy touchdown. Let's go. Cletus Pace. Lunging into the end zone. The dogs take the lead. Great run by the redshirt senior quarterback. Laying it all on the line. With a win here in this game, that'll be 20 wins in a row, which will tie our record in this dynasty. We'll have to win at Vandy, I believe, to break the record. defense back to it two and a half to go in the third quarter Castro is going to lose a yard on the play defense just swarming to the ball My goodness, Castillo with a great catch and a stiff arm to boot. Kaufman over 250 yards on just 10 completions. Both quarterbacks slanging that thing. Oh, that should have been picked, but a great deflection by, I believe that's Robbins. Pick up three. Fifty one yards on three receptions today for the slot man for the Tigers. He's wide open. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, he overthrew him by a mile. Let's go, punt return safe man. Sanders on for his twenty fifth punt of the season. going to go through the back of the end zone. you love to see it. All right, let's try to run the ball a little bit. We have not been able to get it going on the ground. Every time I pick a run play, they stack the box instantly. Stack the box, and they bring their safeties towards the line of scrimmage. Even get him to play action then. Wide open is the tight end. Anderson up past the fourth. Play action works to perfection. It's so beautiful. I mean, other than the two picks, we're uh, we're throwing quite nicely out there. No way, good doesn't fall on that. Come on. That's crazy. I'm furious. Doing all we can to just give the game away. Great, you should have had that, brother. Oh 
my goodness. Copeland. Oh, these diving receptions are just so brutal. Goal line set for the Tigers. 3-4 for the Bulldogs. And he catches that in double coverage for the touchdown. Tigers take the lead again. Hey man, we are all over him there. It's a young, inexperienced team. Those are the struggles that come with that. Extra point is up, and it is good. Nearing the fourth quarter, the Tigers are on top, 35-31. to Hey, what up, Audrey? How you doing? Nice return from Mullins. Got caught on his own blocker for a little bit there. And we'll have one more play here in the third quarter. Oh, I'm toast. He's open. That's Mullins. Right after the nice kick return, gets a nice reception. And we are down as we head into the fourth quarter. LSU looks to take down the number one team in the country. It's 35-31 here in Death Valley. <laughs> Just ducky. Well, it could be worse. could always be worse. Uh-oh. Up top, Anderson. That's pass interference for sure. I would like to be able to run the ball. Please. We just can't run. Just 73 yards in this game. Have not been able to find much openings today. Cletus, I don't think we got the first down. We're going to have to go for it here. Fullback dive to Sandoval. Of course, Adam's sleeping. Old man. Sandoval gets the first down. Oh, my goodness. It's a risky call, but it paid off. Dale's open, and what a diving catch from Dale. Oh, my goodness. 16 hurries today for the Tiger defense. Two sacks, two interceptions to go with those. Oh, come on. Right tackle just stop blocking my fullback. Just hanging out, having a good time. They're down to nine now. Up top, Malone, back in the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Wow, we desperately needed that one. Crucial third down and long situation. Pace loads up and he delivers it for six. His fourth touchdown pass of the game as he closes in on 400 yards through the air. Right. 
Extra point is good. That was an eighth late, 67 yard drive, took 150 off the clock, and it's 38 to 35 now, with just over five minutes to go. Can the Bulldogs hang on, or will the Tigers knock them off their number one spot? by Barry. We are going to decline that. Second down of 10 coming up. And an overthrow from Kaufman. He's had a few of those today. And a big third down of 10 coming up from their own 21-yard line. Complete. Looked like a drop pass. Bulldogs catch a break. Now we can try to close this game out. Oh, killed again. Let's go, Mullins. You should be able to return this for a little bit. And up past the 50 to the 48 yard line. And try to run the ball. A little bit here. And we cannot get past the line of scrimmage. No matter what play we're running. I thought your defense definitely came to play today as far as uh, stopping the run. They have shut Sanford out of this game. There's a nice juke. And Sanford will move the chains. Best run of the game since the first drive. Just 57 yards for the sophomore. Up top, Malone, one-on-one, -on -one. got him, but he dropped it. Oh, his third drop today. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Man, we needed that. That would have gave us a two-score lead. Fullback picks up a couple. We need eight. Quick pass, and what a catch by Joyner to the 20. My goodness, what a strike. That gets pace over 400 yards for the game. Triple coverage. Not, not a good decision there. Oh, man. I knew as soon as I hit that button that that, that was probably going to be bad. But luckily, we overthrew everybody. And Yates. Young Buck in there getting a couple yards. Third down and seven. And skip Kraft. The young tight end inside the five-yard line. First and goal, Bulldogs. 
Great throw under duress from Cletus Pace. Just hanging in the pocket, taking a big shot from a linebacker. Whew. Somehow had enough strength to get that to the young tight end. Man, that was such a wobbler. That was a wounded duck out there. Bulldogs over 500 yards of offense. And Yates is going to be dropped at the one-yard line. Looking for his first career touchdown. Doesn't get it. Sanford is now back at halfback. Try to run this clock down as much as we can. Under two minutes left here in Death Valley. Sanford is going to be in for the touchdown, giving us a two-point or a two-score lead, rather. Not so sure he got in there, but we'll take it. That gives us a hundred rushing yards for the game. Point is good and they hit my kicker my goodness they crushed us forty five thirty five is the score now crowd not happy with that call oh boy get there Look at how close Becker got. And he makes the play. Let's go. Let's go, young fella. Beautiful play. Oh, and it's picked off by Corbin May. And Corbin May is going to score. Touchdown, MSU. Let's go. He threw it right to him. First mistake of the game by Kaufman. Trying to do a little bit too much out there. Trying to force that ball in. And Corbin May makes some pay. And we've got ourselves a 50-burger. Second one of the season, if I'm not mistaken. Extra point up. And good. 52-35 now. Scoreboard not really doing LSU any justice here today. Because they played a hell of a game. But, you know, a pick six, that'll do it to you. Oh, nice hit. Gray and Gray gets the pick the freshman the strong safety is that his first pick that might be his first pick of his career back-to-back -back passes for Kaufman uh, go to the opposite team Blocking. Nice juke and Sanford up past the 35 yard line. It's over 700 yards on the season, five touchdowns, and just our fifth game of the year.
There goes Sanford again. Staying in bounds to the 40-yard line. Making his numbers look <laughs> a little bit better. Not sure if the defense is just gassed or just giving up at this point. Pick up five more. Pace, player of the game for the Dogs. 421 yards passing, four touchdown passes, and one rushing. And that will do it. Turn the commentary back on so I don't have to do it before the next game. Which probably won't even be a televised game because I think we're traveling to Vandy. closer than most people would have expected, but I'm sure they'll take it. Mississippi State didn't play their best game and they'll admit it. But this is college football, where every game counts. And if you win, you're happy. If you lose, you're not. It's that simple. Thanks for watching this game of NCAA Football 2003. The final count in this one, Mississippi State 52, LSU 35. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Brad. Yeah, LSU, man, they they were holding their own. Had me nervous for a little bit there. But our, our second half performance was so much better than the first half. They only scored one more touchdown. We put up four touchdowns to pull away in the end. Three straight touchdowns there in the fourth quarter to close it out. I mean, Kaufman, he was having a heck of a day. And it fell apart on those last two throws. But Pace, 21 of 32, 421 yards, four touchdowns. He did throw two picks today, though. Sanford ends up with 105 yards, somehow eclipsing the century mark. A couple big runs on that final drive just to close it out. Malone, 7 for a buck 70, two touchdowns. Chad Massey, 4 for 80 and a score as well. And, I mean, we distributed the ball to eight different receivers. Skip Kraft in his first career catch, and that was a big one. Uh, moving the chains for us. Sanford also had a touchdown reception as well. Three drops for Malone, one for Dale. Campbell led the team in tackles with six. Mason and Gray both had four. Kennedy with three. Sack for Terry Marks. Two picks. Four deflections. Forced fumble for Campbell. Recovered by Sandoval. And the defensive touchdown from Corbin May, the senior, of course. Rick Hayes, still perfect on the season. One of one today. No punts. And a 10-yard punt return for Mullins. And that was it. Let's go take on Vanderbilt. <laughs> who does have a win this season, which is more than I can say for Alabama. Alabama was winless last season, continues to be winless this season. Mandy also went winless last year, but they were 0-12. Alabama was 0-11. Well, I'll have to go back and look at, at Season 7 and see what Alabama's record was that year as well. I don't know if they've won five games over the last four seasons, guys. I don't know what's going on with them. But they are in the SEC uh, cellar. They are way down in the basement with Vanderbilt. Colorado State beats Georgia. In Georgia. 38-31 in overtime. What's going on? The SEC is just... They're, it's just not good. It is not good. It used to be good. The first few seasons of this series, there were some powerhouses. I don't know if it's 
me taking the talent away from these guys and recruiting or what but they are not looking good I mean LSU is what one and four now yeah one and four that is kind of crazy all right here we go it is televised somehow number one Bulldogs versus uh Number 105, <laughs> Commodores. Okay. Our passing game is now number five in the country. Vandy does like to throw it, but does not appear that they have a quarterback uh, capable of doing so. Back through here, and you can see our streak is 20 wins in a row which ties our longest win streak so a win against Vandy will break that record and give us our 95th win all time here in season 9 of our MSU dynasty let's get it we'll beat up some Commodores Look like Nebraska is 5-0 and on the season. Okay. We're going all white for this one. Let's get it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream tonight. If you are, please slap that like button. Slap it real good. Or if you don't like violence, just, you know, caress it. along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here with you as we look to piece together the bowl and championship pictures. The Commodores may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Uh, there's no question about it. This <coughs> one's going to be pretty ugly. Mississippi State has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. Well, Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Vanderbilt does not match up well defensively against this passing attack. And that's the reason why I think they're going to be out of this one early. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if it's over by halftime. Thanks, guys. Let's take it down to the field and get ready for the game. Over by halftime, they say. Well, we shall see. Oh, they're going to kick it. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Mullins and McCoy back to return. McCoy will get it at the five. McCoy up past the 35 and 37. Good return by the freshman. Heck of a way for us to start things off. Malone. Oh, he dropped the touchdown. Oh, man. That would have been a heck of a way to start. Dang it. We had him, too. And he would have been gone. He was in full stride. Nice block. Sanford to the outside. Stiff arms a defender. And out of bounds, but picks up the first. Number seven offense in the country, 479 yards per game. Yeah, we're just going to take off here. 
Easy money. Take a nine yard game. Why not? Mullins, wide open. Oh, nice cut. Really good change of direction there. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> that could have been bad. Second down and 10. No blocking, that's cool. All right. Okay. If you say so. Now third and 15. Dale, wide open. And did he get a foot in bounds? Yes, he did. Let's go. And Sanford will pick up three up the middle. Sandoval for three as well. Hey, 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 what's up, Marvin? What's going on, brother? And Yates is going to get his first career touchdown run. Let's go, Yates. Really good run for the young fella. Would not be denied. Would not, could not, should not be denied. Dr. Seuss up here, what's up? Doing a little gaming yourself? What you been playing, Marvin? What you been up to, buddy? What's happening down there in Georgia? Oh, what a hit. My goodness. All right, defense. Let's get it. Bond with a catch. He'll pick up a few yards on the play. Need for speed unbound with Persona 3. Nice. My oldest brother used to play the Persona games a lot back in the day. Oh, what an interception from Corbin May. He's got two picks in the last two games. That was insane. How did he pick that? My guy's got some hops over here. Denied. Where's he throwing that anyway? Like what receiver is that supposed to be intended for? I, I don't understand. But we'll take the pick. For show. Alright. Up top. And Massey's got it inside the five. Let's go fullback blast.
Sandoval, touchdown, Bulldogs. We are cruising right now. You love to see it. I mean, this is basically an easy win every season against Vandy. They had a little something going when they had Jake Cutler at the start of the series, but that quickly faded as it's 14-0. to We got a left-handed quarterback this season. I don't think he was here last year. Unless I just wasn't paying attention, which is totally possible. Oh, my goodness. What a pancake block that was. All right. See how the Commodores respond. Hey, Marvin, you got all sorts of games to play, buddy. Ooh, quarterback draw? Okay. I, I don't know how he got the first down there, but all right. That dude's tall, too. Look at him. He's tall as a defensive lineman. Might have to spy him here. Keeps taking off like that. Counter. And he gets four. Wait till stuff is on sale. Yeah, I do the same thing. I got like 30 games on my PS4 and I got... Oh my goodness! Oh, the user diving interception from the freshman Gray. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Oh my goodness. That was ridiculous. All game, last game against LSU, their receivers had diving picks. Or diving receptions, rather. And now we got the diving user interception with a freshman strong safety. That was glorious. But as I was saying, uh, Marvin, <laughs> I have like, I have a bunch of games on the PS4. Most of them I got for less than $10. Because they were like on sale for, you know, 90% off, stuff like that. Throw it up. I wanted to throw that deep, but thought better of it. And good run for Sanford. Two yards shy of the sticks. See if we can't run for the first here. Oh my goodness. Sanford, if he wasn't tired, that's a touchdown. Just couldn't make anybody else miss. He's exhausted and he's still on the field. What is he doing? Oh my goodness. Can I can I get one block for a split second, please? That was going to be a big gain to the tight end. Second down, 17 now after the sack. Mullins, the freshman. Oh, we overthrew him. Dang. That's unfortunate. All right, they're down 17 to go. Now, we don't need the first down here. We can get inside the 30 and then go for it. Up top. Oh, boy. No way Massey just caught that at the 10. Good grief. It helps that he's like 6'5". That's insane. Ridiculous. I'm glad that he dropped that. He was about to lose five yards on a catch. 
Man, wide receiver screens just do not work very well in this game. And that makes me sad. I like wide receiver screens. And Desmond Dale in for six. See Marvin, you showed up just in time to watch us destroy Vandy. They have 17 yards of offense right now. And they've thrown two interceptions on back-to-back -back drives. We might get back-to-back -back 50 burgers here today. Which the 50 burger has been relatively rare in this series. Here in season nine. Pretty sure you can count, you know, uh, single digits at least. career he has had here in Starkville for the Bulldogs. He's been lights out for four seasons at that outside linebacker spot. And we're going to blitz. Perfect blitz call. And he's going to escape. <laughs> Man, he probably could have scored if he kept going outside. Missed tackle opportunities there for the Dogs. I agree, Marvin. Totally agree, buddy. Oh, where's he throwing that? Oh, my goodness. We almost got a fumble recovery. Gray with a forced fumble, and he has that pick. The ridiculous diving interception. Let's see if we can block a punt. Nope. Dang it. Our punt block video that I uploaded a few days ago has like a thousand views already. From our national championship game. Try to hit him with play action. Come on, Malone. Got him inside the 10. Oh, it's just not fair. This is my stadium now, boys. Pace 7 of 11, 145 yards, and a touchdown. And the Bulldogs. That was disrespectful right there. I just came to a complete stop. <laughs> oh, man. Bulldogs on top by four touchdowns now. You were one of those thousands of views. Thank you, sir. I am going to be posting our uh, blocked extra point that we had against Hawaii. I don't know if you saw that. We were able to tune in for that game at all. But it ended up winning us the game last season. We beat them 28-27. That was an absolute classic. And we barely beat them this year, too. I don't know what it is. Freaking Hawaii. They're a two-star program right now. They're better than Alabama. <laughs> Come on, boys. Oh, let's go. Oh, my. Oh, 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 baby. We're getting a 50-burger at halftime. <laughs> it's 28 nothing as we go into the second quarter. Man. I mean, this is getting... This is getting ugly. Thirty-four to zero. This is probably going to be the biggest beatdown we've ever put on somebody in this series. Like, <laughs> I I don't even think it's going to be close. I can't remember the most points we've scored. I don't think we have any sixty burgers. 
It's hard enough getting 50 points. Although we did just get it against LSU. But that was because of a late interception. We turned for a touchdown. LSU played a great game against us. Hawaii better than Alabama, only PS2 football. That's right! Listen, man, I, I got some of the most fun universes here, alright, on the channel. <laughs> With some crazy, crazy teams just, you know, winning lots of games or, or some just not winning at all and becoming doormats. It's really fun to see, you know, which teams go up and which teams go down in all the dynasties I've done. But hats off to like Fresno State. Fresno State's been really good in almost all of the series. Oh, what a catch. That should have been picked off. Wow. Vandy driving. Look out. The comeback is imminent. I'm blitzing. I'm doing it. No, I'm not. I kid. I kid. Oh, I missed that. Oh my goodness, I'm sick to my stomach. I knew what the play was. I knew it. And I overran it. I don't want to see it again. I hate that. You know what play the team's running. And you just <laughs> you get a little too excited. Corbin May with the fumble recovery. Oh my goodness. All the way up past the 30 yard line. I mean, if you're a Vandy fan, like, do you leave right now? Or are you already gone? Bulldogs usually are good. Yeah, that's true. Oh, nice tackle. Dang it. There's a lot of small schools that are really good in this uh, series. UNLV went 13-0 uh, last season. Rice was really good. Southern Miss has been phenomenal. Middle Tennessee State was a top 25 team, and then I whooped on them. They're down to seven for the dogs. Corner route to Malone, who lays out for it. Can't get it. Man, yeah, we'll punt it. Didn't punt at all against LSU. Now forced to punt against Vandy. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having a blast right now. This is fun. All right, make them try it again. They had a nice drive going. Couldn't hang on to the football, though. Hey, don't forget, Marvin. The Making Knights coming back, buddy. After season 10 of Mississippi State. You're bringing the Knights back. Not sure how many seasons. A couple seasons, probably. So we can prepare for our next dynasty. Nice tackle, Kennedy. Oh, they go draw play. Okay. I mean, you didn't get it. But good try. A for effort. Looking forward to the Knights' return, of course. Yes, sir. Mr. James Hickenbotham. The GOAT. 
about to go crazy at receiver for us again. See if we can't get the actual James Hickenbotham back in a stream. Because that was really awesome. Oh, Dale, wide open, lays out for it, picks up eight or nine. Sports dude forever, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you? How are things? Good to see you. Hey, save for 13, 153 yards and a touchdown on this one. I wanted to dive, but... Uh, the game had other plans, I guess. Easy money. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Get him out of here. Sanford up to the 30-yard line. He's got 82 yards on eight carries. He's had over 100 yards every game this season so far for us. An absolute stud at halfback. Oh, man. I zigged when I should have zagged right there, boys. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Found the channel off the pump block video? Nice. I highly recommend going and uh, actually watching that national championship game because it was awesome. That is a top five game on the channel all time. But I do appreciate you uh, checking out the live stream. Which team do I go for? I am a Miami Hurricanes fan. Oh, Mullins, why'd you dive for it? Do I go for a field goal here? That's a 41 yarder. Yeah, we're gonna go for the first down. Why not? What do we gotta lose? We're taking on Vandy. And we got the first down no matter what. We'll decline it. Easy first down. Not sure <laughs> what that defensive end was doing, man. My goodness. Just being super silly out here. Sanford wide open. Touchdown. His second touchdown catch of the stream. Had one against LSU. Nice throw from Cletus Pace. About to be 42 to 0. The boys in the pregame show called for it to be over at halftime. Well, uh, it was over in the first quarter. And the extra point is good from Rick Hayes. And it's 42 0. What's your favorite team, sports dude? Who you root for? Come on, get him, boys. Get him. Oh, my goodness. Skip Kraft recovers the fumble. Jeez Louise. What is going on with Vandy right now? They are just crumbling like I've never seen before. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all good. That'll happen when you're just trying to score every, you know, every other play. I'm okay with it. Try to force that one a little bit too much. Uh-oh. 
Dobbins, what happened, brother? Good thing the quarterback is not very accurate. That should have been a touchdown easily. Down to four for the Commodores. Trying to get something going here. And run the clock down. And they are not going to get the first down. Oh, we nearly blocked another one. Oh my goodness. I would have lost my mind. And Mullins with a great return up inside the 45 yard line. Let's see how close we were to blocking that punt with Tony Calhoun. Oh my goodness. Look at how close we are. <laughs> Dang. Oof. So close. Now, Tony Calhoun's got 99 speed, so he's just short. If he was taller, he probably would have blocked that, honestly. Desmond Dale open on the sideline. Got him. And there's a flag for holding. It's coming back. Of course, there'd be holding, because why not? See, got him. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Poured it on. Why not? We'll run the ball quite a bit in the second half. Yeah, that was a nice animation on, on the run on that corner route, Marvin. I love the animations in this game. Extra point up and good. 49 to 0. And I thought we were going to struggle this season, honestly. We only had nine returning starters. Two on defense. Campbell with another tackle on kickoff. He is a menace out there. We get the sack on Nicholson. I just want to punish Vanderbilt. Hello? Okay. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. What a hit. I agree, Marvin. The little details, man, they make a huge difference. That, and you actually still feel like you have control over your players, which is so great. Oh, that was a great play call, great route. Uh, just an overthrow. I feel like I'm losing my voice right now. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but you can pump up your fans at the away games. I don't know if you noticed that. But sometimes you can, you, you know, you hit the uh, the pump up button and you can hear your little fan section go up a little bit. Not here, because, I mean, there's really nobody in the stands at the moment. But in close games, like against LSU a couple times I did it. That was my bad. All right, well, they're going to kick a field goal here. There goes the shutout. Unless we block it. 
Now, we blocked an extra point. I don't know if I've blocked a field goal in this game. Field goals up. And a field goals good. 49-3 to three at halftime. Vandy does get the ball. And we're actually going to put some backups in. I do not need it. <coughs> um, excuse me, anybody getting hurt right now. Put Billy Bond in at quarterback. I'm going to take Sanford out. We're going to have McCoy in there. Yates can still be the number two. Yeah, let's see. We have a third tight end, do we not? I'm going to get Willie Mullen in there. At tight end. See what he can do. Get a look at the future, and by future I just mean next season. Let's go, boys! Get him! Oh, nice tackle, Sandoval! Let's go. Special teams has been on point in this one. Uh oh, I got pancakes. Pandy has had some nice plays today. They've just been overshadowed by a plethora of extremely terrible plays. And Bond goes nowhere. Loss of three on the play. Seven. And I just can't get there with Kennedy. Nice hit on the sideline, though. It's hard to defend those quick routes to the outside. Okay, Kennedy, you want to not get stiff armed, please? I beg of thee. We'll have two more games tomorrow night, guys, and two on Wednesday. Oh, nice. Okay, quarterback. Okay. I mean, you had more yards yourself. I don't know why you pitched it. That play had me all messed up. Still some loyal fans there, chanting on their team. They're down 46 points. Nice catch by Swanson. Across the middle. Draw play. And Lee will move the chains for Vandy. See, now we just can't stop them. They're coming back. They're going to win it. If that happened, I would never stream again. Ever. Just want to let you guys know that. I would give up. Nice drive for Vandy. Just taking a lot of time off the clock. Nine plays, 49 yards, two and a half minutes now. Play action. And a bad <laughs> a bad play by Robbins. And the Commodores inside the 10-yard line. Threatening. 
Nicholson, I mean, 11 of 16, 119 yards, that's not bad. You just had uh, two, two interceptions there that weren't very good. And it's picked off by Larson. Oh, my goodness. That's the backup. <laughs> the backup right outside linebacker. That's his first career pick. That's unfortunate. For Vandy, of course. Billy Bond under center now. Why is Sanford still in the game? What are we doing? Did I not take him out? This guy's trying to sneak back in there so he can get 100 yards. And there's McCoy. Easy first down for the freshman. Sanford is in there again. What? How did I not see that? Okay, it's just that formation? That's really weird. Honestly. There you go, McCoy. Nice juke and breaks the tackle from the safety. Career reception. I don't think he got his foot in bounds. Oh wow, he did. Okay, that is his first career catch. Let's go. Really good throw by Bond on the run. And Yates carrying a defender. He'll pick up seven. Extra blocker over here, and I keep forgetting that Sanford is in that formation. This is killing me. What am I doing? All right, second down and 13 now after the loss. Malone slides over to the tight end spot, and that's easy money. Malone down to the nine yard line. This crowd is dead silent. You can hear the, did you hear that? The ball just hit the ground. That's how quiet it is. And Yates is tired, but gets it down to the two yard line. crowd is way too quiet. That's crazy. See if I can pump them up by trying to quiet them down. Nope. Okay, I only hit the button once. Let's settle down. Sandoval! Touchdown! Bulldogs! There's the 50 burger. point from Hayes is up and it's good 56 to 3 
doesn't matter. Texas beats K-State 20 to 10. That was a good game. There's like so little people here right now. It's like three rows of people. The team's still fighting hard though. I mean, they're lucky that Bond picked that up. Ruben Mason, like the linebacker is injured his something. Arm, hand, whatever it was. Rub some dirt on it. Sorry, that gives Campbell some playing time at middle linebacker, which he's more than capable. He led the team in tackles against LSU. And a nice run for Nicholson. He's going to move the chains for the Commodores. 53 rushing yards for the quarterback. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mason out for the rest of the game with a strained shoulder. And that's picked off by Barry. And Barry is in for six. Bulldogs just cruising. I mean, he's st looking at him stare down his receiver this whole time. And Barry just standing right there. My goodness. Well, that gives us a 60-burger before the fourth quarter. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the most points we've scored on somebody in this series. Extra point. Up and good. 63 to 3. I mean, usually a blowout for us is, you know, us winning like 35 to 7. <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. It's 63 to 3. Bulldogs trying to get that 70 bird. Vantage is making it easy for me. They really are. They're having a tough time out there. I mean, they're still fighting, though. A lot of turnovers, though. A lot of turnovers. Might be the most takeaways we've ever had. I think we have six or seven right now. Bunch of fumbles. Three interceptions, I think. Nicholson, he's running hard, though. This team does have some talent. There we go. Good tackle by Robbins. They go for a draw play, and that goes nowhere. May coming through on the blitz. His second tackle for a loss today. And we're going to send him on another blitz right here. What is this? Sorry. <laughs> I got the halfback. On third down and eight. They're going to try a screen. And he's actually wide open. He just throws it deep. Swanson was one-on-one -on -one against Campbell. That's a mismatch for the linebacker. He does not stand a chance out in pass coverage. They put Swanson over 100 yards on the season. Eight catches. Listen to how quiet this crowd is. They have their backup quarterback in now. Man, he's going to overthrow his target by about 10 yards. I can't even... I can't pump anybody up. <laughs> There's nobody. And Kennedy, nice tackle on Reed, the backup quarterback. They're down to five coming up. Well, there's the crowd, a little bit of life. And they're gone.
Oh, what a catch that was by Phelps. What the heck? Where did he come from? Yeah, get hyped, buddy. You're down 60. Man, that was a laser beam. Look at that throw. Look at all that traffic. How does he complete that? Good grief. I don't know why the crowd keeps dying. Oh, Corbin May, what are you doing? He's out here trying to get some style points with a one-handed INT instead of just picking it off, man. Come on now. Nice tackle by Kennedy. Nicholson. He's got like 90 rushing yards on us today. Just can't stop him. Can't slow him down. And Kennedy gets the stop on third down. What a tackle. And obviously they're going to go for it. Down big at home. Man, that was too easy. Wow, they are number one in red zone scoring on the season. That is actually quite surprising, to be honest. There's a face mask. everybody they're gonna go fullback dive and I'm gonna miss well I was almost right it was triple option touchdown Vandy though look at them over 300 yards of offense now but the turnovers man there was a lot of turnovers that killed them Point is up and good. 63 to 10. That was a 15 play. 82 yard drive. Fantastic drive. Okay, skip craft. Making people miss. Let's go. Vandy's still 100% in the red zone. That's really shocking, honestly. Man, nice play by the defense for the Commodores. And McCoy, close to the sticks. 80 yards on the season. Third down in inches. First down. Sanford is back in the game again. Oh, he's in all the formations. Oh, I guess he's going to run the football. Dude really wants his 100 yards. What, what is he doing? He's had 100 yards every game. So, it's like, yeah, I'm going out, coach. I don't care what you say. But you're just probably not going to get it, Sanford. They're down at five coming up. does a lot better with fullback runs or formations where there's a fullback rather 
and he did not move the chains. Well, we're gonna go fullback dive. Why not? And Vandy's even 100% on fourth downs today. Okay. And I'm pretty sure he got it. Yes, sir. Okay, man coverage. Here we go. Billy Bond, touchdown Mississippi State. Let's go. About to get the 70 burger. It's got to be our first in the whole series. I don't remember the first five seasons very much. So Since they, uh, <laughs> you know, this series started the channel seven years ago. Just about. February 10th, that's the seven year anniversary of our first video. Extra point is up and good. It's 70 to 10 here in Nashville, Tennessee. One minute left. Oh, I got crushed. Come on, Copeland. Can I break off of one block today? Please. Just get Kennedy another tackle, I guess. No problemo. Sanford, play of the game, 97 yards rushing, 16 yards on a catch, three total touchdowns for the sophomore. I'm going to turn the boys back on. The Bulldogs put four men up front. Hand off up the middle. He spins. Bullock brings him down at the 36. Yeah, I call a timeout. What's up? And they'll have two remaining. Fourth and one coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. See if I can block a punt to end the game. Back deep to return. Nope. Dang it. Get out of the way, ref. What are you doing? Mullen fields it at the 24. Good return. <laughs> oh, Larry Lyons injured on the final play of the game. Look at that score. That's beautiful. And this ball game's over. Girk, what do you think of this one? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating in this one. Vanderbilt knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep it a little bit closer than it ended up. There's just not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team like that. Folks, thanks for tuning into this game. Our final score, Mississippi State, 70. Vanderbilt, 10. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Street and Lee Corso, signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody. My man Kirk said they took a severe beating. That is tough. They had seven turnovers. They lost three fumbles, and we picked them off four times. Man, that has to be the most takeaways we've ever had. I guess that's how you uh, can get 50-plus points in a game, man. 60-point victory just like Georgia over FSU. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. See? I, I stand by what I said when I when I said that they did not deserve to be in the playoff. All right? I know they had a bunch of transfer portal guys, guys sitting out. I know that. But so did Georgia. Let's be honest here. And those other, those four playoff teams would have absolutely shellacked Florida State. I mean, Georgia should have been in too. Just saying.
lose one game and you're out of the playoff. That's crazy to me. We had six rushing touchdowns today. What? Oh my goodness. Massey with a touchdown. Desmond Dale had one. Damian Sanford had one. Malone, quiet game. Two for 68. Long of 50. One drop. One drop for Dale and Massey as well. Look at Chris Harris. Three pancakes? What? We never get pancakes. Copeland and Kennedy with eight tackles. Barry with seven. May, Mason, Robbins all with five. Seven tackles for a loss for the defense. One sack for Terry Marks. He had one against LSU as well. Larson, Gray, Barry, May with the interceptions in this one. Barry, of course, the pick six. There's three deflections. Gray, Barry, and May. Five forced fumbles. Two for Tony Calhoun. The five for ten. 167 pound junior corner with 99 speed. You gotta love it. Our other corner had a four fumble as well. Todd Gray and Ruben Mason. Skip Kraft with a recovery. Corbin May recovered one. Mason. Big six for Barry, of course. No field goals in this one. 45 yard punt for Floyd. No return. And Mullins had a 28-yard punt return. Just absolutely eviscerated them in this game. 60-point win. That, I'm pretty sure that's the biggest win we've had. So I'm not going to lie. It's been a struggle to get a lot of points in games in 03. I think that's what's made it so much fun. All right, we're going to save it and get up out of here. Our next two games, if I can pull this up here. Our next two games, we're going to be taking on Auburn and Kentucky. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this stream. If you did, please slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community. There is a link in the description below. Also, check out our block punt video that I uploaded a few days back. It's doing quite well. It's like a 1,000 views right now. And that play happened in the national championship game against Oklahoma. Also, if you haven't watched that game, please go do so. Uh, but first, watch the Tennessee game, the SEC title game before that one. Both top five games on the channel all time. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Until next time, take it easy.